The saber or saber is a type of backsword, usually with a curved single-edged blade and a rather large handguard, covering the knuckles of the hand as well as the thumb and forefinger. Ultimately based on a medieval type of single-edged weapon, the saber was adopted as the weapon of heavy cavalry in early modern warfare. Although sabers are typically thought of as curved-bladed slashing weapons, those used by the heavy cavalry of the 17th to 19th centuries often had straight and even double-edged blades more suitable for thrusting. The length of sabers varied, and most were carried in a scabbard hanging from a shoulder belt known as a baldric or from a waist-mounted sword belt, usually with slings of differing lengths to permit the scabbard to hang below the rider's waist level. The last saber issued to U.S. cavalry was the Patton Saber of 1913, designed to be mounted to the cavalryman's saddle. History Origins saber-like curved backswords have been in use in Europe since the early medieval period. The oldest well-documented sabers are those found in 9th and 10th century graves of Magyars who entered the Carpathian Basin at this time. These oldest sabers had a slight curve, short, downturned quill ends, the grip facing the opposite direction to the blade and a sharp point with the top third of the reverse edge sharpened. The introduction of the saber proper in Western Europe, along with the term saber itself, dates to the 17th century. Via influence of the Eastern European Zabala type ultimately derived from these medieval backswords. The adoption of the term is connected to the employment of Hungarian Huzar cavalry by Western armies at the time. Hungarian hussars were employed as light cavalry, with the role of harassing enemy skirmishes, overrunning artillery positions, and pursuing fleeing troops. In the late 17th and 18th centuries, many Hungarian hussars fled to other Central and Western European countries and became the core of light cavalry formations created there. The Hungarian term Zablia is ultimately traced to the northwestern Turkic Celebe, with contamination from the Hungarian verb szab to cut. Early modern use the original type of Zabla, or Polish saber, was used as a cavalry weapon, possibly inspired by Hungarian or wider Turco-Mongol warfare. The Carabella was a type of Zabla popular in the late 17th century, worn by the Polish, Lithuanian, and Ukrainian nobility class, the Szalokta. While designed as a cavalry weapon, it also came to replace various types of straight-bladed swords used by infantry. The Swiss saber originates as a regular sword with a single-edged blade in the early 16th century but by the 17th century begins to exhibit specialized hill types. Modern use the saber saw extensive military use in the early 19th century, particularly in the Napoleonic Wars, during which Napoleon used heavy cavalry charges to great effect against his enemies. Shorter versions of the saber were also used as sidearms by dismounted units although these were gradually replaced by fasten knives and sword bayonets as the century went on. Although there was extensive debate over the effectiveness of weapons such as the saber and lance, the saber remained the standard weapon of cavalry for mounted action in most armies until World War I. Thereafter it was gradually relegated to the status of a ceremonial weapon, and most horse cavalry was replaced by armoured cavalry from 1930 on. Napoleonic era The elegant but effective 1803 Patton sword that the British government authorised for use by infantry officers during the wars against Napoleon featured a curved sabre blade which was often blued and engraved by the owner in accordance with his personal taste. Europeans rekindled their interest in sabres inspired by the Mameluk sword, a type of Middle Eastern scimitar, encountered due to their confrontations with the Mameluks in the late 18th century and early 19th century. The Mamluks were originally of Turkish descent. The Egyptians bore Turkish sabres for hundreds of years. During the Napoleonic Wars, the French conquest of Egypt brought these beautiful and functional swords to the attention of Europeans. 
This type of sabre became very popular for light cavalry officers, in both France and Britain, and became a fashionable weapon for senior officers to wear. In 1831, the Mameluke sword became a regulation pattern for British general officers. Russian Empire in the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth a specific type of sabre-like melee weapon, the Zabla, was used. The Don Cossacks used the Shashka and Sabia, which also saw military and police use in the Russian Empire and early Soviet Union. United States The American victory over the rebellious forces in the citadel of Tripoli in 1805, during the First Barbary War, led to the presentation of the dueled examples of these swords to the senior officers of the U.S. Marines. Officers of the U.S. Marine Corps still use a Mameluke pattern dress sword, although some genuine Turkish Kilij sabers were used by Westerners. Most Mameluke sabers were manufactured in Europe, although their hilts were very similar in form to the Ottoman prototype, their blades. Even when an expanded Yelman was incorporated, tended to be longer, narrower and less curved than those of the true Kilij. In the American Civil War, the saber was used infrequently as a weapon, but saw notable deployment in the Battle of Brandy Station and at East Cavalry Field at the Battle of Gettysburg in 1863. Many cavalrymen, particularly on the Confederate side, eventually abandoned the long, heavy weapons in favor of revolvers and carbines. Police during the 19th and into the early 20th century Sabres were also used by both mounted and dismounted personnel in some European police forces. When the sabre was used by mounted police against crowds, the results could be appalling, as portrayed in a key scene in Dr. Javago. The sabre was later phased out in favor of the baton, or nightstick, for both practical and humanitarian reasons. The Gendarmerie of Belgium used them until at least 1950, and the Swedish police forces until 1965. Contemporary dress uniform Swords with sabre blades remain a component of the dress uniforms worn by most National Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine and Coast Guard officers. Some militaries also issue ceremonial swords to their highest-ranking non-commissioned officers. This is seen as an honor since, typically, Non-commissioned, enlisted, other rank military service members are instead issued a cutlass blade rather than a saber. Sword deployments in the modern military are no longer intended for use as weapons, and now serve primarily in ornamental or ceremonial functions. As such, they are typically made of stainless steel, a material which keeps its shine bright but is much too brittle for direct impacts let alone full blade-on-blade -blade combat, and may shatter if such usage is attempted. One distinctive ceremonial function a saber serves in modern times is the wedding arch or saber arch, performed for servicemen or women getting married. Modern sport fencing The modern fencing saber bears little resemblance to the cavalry saber, having a thin, 88 cm long straight blade. One of the three weapons used in the sport of fencing. It is a very fast-paced weapon with bouts characterized by quick footwork and cutting with the edge. The only allowed target area is from the waist up, the region a mounted man could reach on a foe on the ground. The concept of attacking above the waist only is a 20th century change to the sport. Previously sabers used to pad their legs against cutting slashes from their opponents. The reason for the above waist rule is unknown as the sport is based on the use of infantry sabers and not cavalry sabers.